All right, SMA owners, what's going on? So I want to talk about client acquisition and what is the difference between e-com clients and local business clients, okay? Uh, first things first is like, comment, subscribe on the video because I appreciate you all. Um, all right, let's dive right into this. Hey, my name is Jason Wojo. Welcome to my channel. I run a multiple seven-figure agency, so make sure you subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, e-com, right? Um, personally, harder to get results for, okay? That's my personal opinion. Lead gen, a lot easier. Okay, I'm gonna go over the reasons why they are easier. So reason A is you can't control their cogs. It costs a good sold, okay? You can't control their offer always. So, you know, free shipping, stuff like that. You know, you can't always do free shipping because that's where some of the client's margins really are. Um, you can't always do a BOGO because they care so much about every single percentage of their margins, which is understandable. I get it. Um, what else? Um, now there are good things about e right? And what I basically really think is that it's, it really comes down to the things that you need to do for e com versus lead gen, right? Um, you have to focus on their conversion rates. You have to focus on their upsell take rates, right? So you can't, like, they, you can't just sell one product. A lot of people say, oh, run a one product store. And no offense, th those people are fucking stupid. Like, you can't just sell one product. Lower AOV, ad spend is too high, and they won't stay with you long, okay? They're going to leave and say that it's your fault when it's their fault, okay? They don't have enough product line. So focus on their conversion rates, focus on their upsell take rates. Best upsells are bundle selling. So like, you know, one bottle, two bottle, three bottle, two bottles, three bottles right? Or faster or better results. So for example, right? If I'm selling hair oil, right? If I'm selling hair oil that grows the hair, the next upsell would be, hey, get another bottle, last another 30 days. Next upsell, faster, better results would be, hey, get our scalp oil so that your hair actually grows in healthier, not just grows in, but grows in healthier, faster, better results. Um, the other thing about e -com is, okay, here's the other thing. You can't always um, convince the business owner to implement new products. Ecom business owners are just like, they're spending a lot more money in bulk. So trying to convince them to implement new products and spend money on product development, um, it's gonna be a lot tougher, right? Um, also, a lot of ecom stores they hate spending money on apps and influencer, you know, videos for UGC, which is like user generated content. Um, so it's like, you know, there's downsides, right? It's easier to get lead gen results. So I'm going to kind of go over those, you know, principles, but before that, I just want to focus on a couple of things. So you have to focus on their conversion rates. You have to focus on their upsell take rates. You have to focus on, you know, increasing average order value through those upsells. Okay. Focus on increasing their lifetime value. You have to focus on, you know, faster and streamlined checkout processes. So one page checkouts. easier fulfillment. You also have to focus on increasing abandoned cart recovery rates. So that's what we use like text cart for SMS bump. Those are two apps. 
Next thing is you have to focus on, you know, multiple traffic sources. So if you're running e-com, you need to be running their Facebook, their IG, their Google and TikTok ads because they're omnipresent together. Also, you have to focus on getting better tracking, you know, because iOS, iOS 14 and 15 killed tracking. So we use Triple Whale, which is great software, by the way. Um, whoever the owner is, good shit on taking good part of the niche. So there's a lot of things, you know, that you need to focus on, right? Now, for lead gen, okay, it gets a lot easier because, and this is just my personal opinion, is that, you know, getting leads is less friction. No purchase necessary, Right. Also, it's not up to you to close the leads, okay? Leads also are a cheaper ad cost. So the clients are more fulfilled by their ad spend. Um, now, things you do have to focus on, focus on the offer, okay? Focus on, and this is just one part that is a little hard, focus on generating high quality leads. So understanding that, you know, the more friction, you know, questions and opt-ins there are, the higher quality lead, but higher cost on ad spend. And the business owner has to know that. So the more friction, questions and opt-ins, the higher quality lead, but higher cost. Also, focus on a three-step funnel, okay? Sales page, button to qualification form. Then after the qualification form, you know, Book your call page. Book your call page. And after they book their call, thank you page and next steps. Um, also for this, Google ads, because like just right off the rip, local business clients, which is also lead gen, Google ads will get higher quality leads. And then Facebook plus IG will be good for retargeting. Okay. TikTok ads are crushing it in the local business space. Lower CPC, which means it can fuel the retargeting on Facebook and IG. Okay. So understanding these things are going to allow you to drastically, you know, obviously get, get local business clients more results. Okay. Also local business, they charge more for services. You know, if they're, you know, uh, cabinet coating, excavation, gardening, like all these different services, they're just higher ticket. So you have more wiggle room with ad spend. Okay. And they're just better quality leads, right? They're in the area, they're local, they're going to support their local community. Just they're going to get generate more revenue. So really just want to break those two down. In my opinion, I love lead gen and local business clients. They're just a lot better. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, breaking this down. If you have any questions, just comment down below, but make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.